our birthdays used to be two weeks apart. So no matter what um, I got her, she could always one-up me. Two years ago, I got her these new shoes. <sighs> these silver stilettos. Early Saturday morning, she, it's my birthday. She to go pick it up. And when she crossed this intersection, a drunk driver just One of my guys saw him steal it from the docks. You're willing to go to the factory for a screwdriver? What did you do, huh? What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> you tried to weasel your way into my good graces, and you got an innocent woman killed, didn't you? Didn't you, Reggie? Mom saw you and me, and she hated you so damn much, she took it out of me, and you just kept telling me how awful she was. I grew up feeling like I was never good enough for my mother. You know, hilarity, malarkey, good old-fashioned slapstick. You can't keep an audience's attention with dead air. No, you gotta keep it alive, engaging. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's probably on too many other things, like taking care of you, Harry. Look, this Uncle Jasper's cure-all. <laughs> yes, it cures migraine headaches, it does. It cures even gonorrhea. And even crazy people would see clowns in their living room with giant penises. You like that I added that last part? <laughs> I mean, who knew <laughs> five feet could break the neck of a 12-year-old, right? I didn't question as much of kids, they just, I thought it was an accident, right? I saw his face. I haven't stopped lying since.